Magic. That word alone fills the imagination of witches and wizards casting elaborate spells or shamans communing with spirits to manipulate unseen forces. For millennia, mainstream society has dismissed magical practices as primitive superstition at best and sinister witchcraft at worst. But this reflects a superficial understanding based on irrational fears rather than reason. In truth, magic is an ancient multi-purpose science harnessing the hidden power of consciousness and natural forces to produce desired results in the physical world. Grounded in precise rituals, spells are structured spiritual technologies for manifesting reality. Far from supernatural fantasy, magic recognizes latent human capabilities to engage unseen energies that shape our world. To appreciate magic's place in humanity's legacy, we must first demystify it. Breaking magic down to its core elements reveals precise mechanics behind the mystical veil. At its heart, magic acknowledges consciousness as the prime mover shaping existence. The mind interweaves with the very fabric of reality. Focused awareness combined with intention generates subtle energies that influence probabilities and outcomes. Magic couples this psychic force of will with the raw creative potency of nature. First, rituals concentrate attention and emotion into a coherent stream. Ordinary consciousness scatters its energy while concentrated focus creates a laser. Symbols, chants and meditation intensify clarity and willpower. Second, intention as the laser's direction targets desired outcomes. Visualization activates the imagination to imprint goals upon the malleable quantum field. Third, precise techniques manipulate various energies to alter matter, body, mind or spirit. Channels like breath, emotions, kundalini, or sex sublimates psychic force into something tractable. Finally, the magician cultivates stillness and surrender to align with the universal energy. Without quieting the ego's demands, magic becomes misguided. Skilled practice furthers universal harmony. Ancient cultures mastered these symmetries between consciousness, energy, and matter across temples and traditions worldwide. Magic appears supernatural merely because modern societies neglected these latent human capabilities. If you are opening your eyes to what magic really is, then give us a like and subscribe. It helps us grow, and in turn, we help you grow as well. Now, on to the next section. Magic has existed since prehistory as humanity sought meaning in the mysteries of existence. Indigenous cultures honored magic to harness nature's latent power and the mind's hidden gifts. The earliest known spells date over 30,000 years ago. Extra emphasis on the words earliest known and not earliest used. For millennia, techniques were guarded by oral transmission through shamanic lineages or elite temple initiations. Different streams emerged, but all recognized magic as engaging unseen forces that shape reality. Practitioners sought attunement with the web of life to gain wisdom about interconnectedness. Through rituals imbued with focused intention, the invisible planes could be accessed to manipulate the physical world. Indigenous shamanic magic channeled elemental forces of earth, water, air and fire for healing, divination and equilibrating human activities within nature. High magic in complex ancient societies like Egypt, India and China employed esoteric techniques to awaken inner planes of consciousness. The spectrum from folk spells to mystic rituals reflects magic's universal essence, the science of interfacing the mind with matter and spirit. 
While rituals took diverse forms, magic's core principles were universally aimed at focusing consciousness and emotion to activate manifestations. Whether a successful hunt, harmony between a couple, or communion with divine beings. Adept practitioners learn to follow cycles of nature and the cosmos to amplify magic's effects. All energy exists in polarities, light and dark, order and chaos, creation and destruction. Magic recognizes that reality encompasses polar forces in dynamic balance. Skilled practice and inner harmony of intent for positivity create that desired effect. But without an intent of purity, magic can magnify shadows and manipulate others for ego gratification. Practitioners achieve the best results through purifying character and acting from compassion. When aligned with the universal spirit, magic manifested a sense of oneness with all creation and further divine order. But many traditions cautioned about magic ripening into unintentional evil when abused for personal gain without concern for the whole. Moreover, the deeper one's capacity developed through magic, the greater one's karmic responsibility became genuine mastery involved separating one's identity from the polar energies magic engaged, so as to act as a pure vessel for nature's limitless creative potential. Adept magicians understood ego could corrupt magic into a projection of limited desires. But disciplined practice could open conduits for working in selfless alignment with the divine will. The most influential magic has roots in the ancient world's advanced civilizations. Their mystical teachings flowed from a profound science of consciousness. Egyptian culture exalted magic as the animating force behind existence. Elite priest magicians trained for years to invoke Netaru or the gods themselves through meticulously composed hieroglyphic spells and multidimensional symbolic arrays. Kemetic writings describe Hekau or magic as the primordial activating power behind creation. Skilled practitioners awakened psychic abilities to vividly manifest desires and interact with spirits and deities. Temple rituals sought to empower and accelerate human evolution through magic. The Indian Vedas sang and channeled mantras and yantras to invoke divas, benevolent beings that administer cosmic order. Tantric yogis personified the Shakti or feminine generative power by awakening Kundalini. Agamas provided manuals for metaphysical arts from alchemy to astrology. India's tantric traditions fused magic with their profound sciences of consciousness to achieve ritual power over reality, matter and spirit. The vast corpus of runes, glyphs and sigils employed across traditions reflect magic's common origin. These multidimensional powers focus consciousness much like a microscope, concentrates light into a potent beam. Each tradition mapped the terrain of inner space differently while exploring identical layers of mind and energy. Beyond Egypt and India, indigenous cultures from Australia to Siberia to the Americas possessed shamanic magic techniques adapted to their ecosystems. Common patterns reveal core principles at play. Native American shamans fasted and offered sacrifices or blood rites to bond with power animals that granted visions and ritual abilities. Totem carvings, sand paintings and incantations carried energetic power for healing or manifesting needs. The forces engaged were seen as intelligent spirits permeating nature. In Mesoamerica, Aztec and Mayan cultures carried the legacy gained from the Olmecs, which shaped magic through advanced astrology, which synchronized rituals with the sacred Tonalpohuali calendar. Codices show magician priests morphing into animal forms or channeling cosmic forces.
offerings were given to sustain the cycling of cosmic energies. From Asia to Europe, magical systems also employed sacred diagrams, glyphs, and spirit alliances. Chinese divination manuals offered techniques to interpret omens and shift energetic balances. Norse shamans invoked runes and mythic archetypes to alter consciousness. Magic was essential to navigating the unseen currents binding humanity, nature, and the cosmos. While industrialization dismissed magic, the late 19th century saw renewed interest in occult philosophies and metaphysics. Secret orders like the Golden Dawn fused ancient Jewish mysticism and Eastern doctrines with Egyptian magic. Blavatsky's Theosophical Society was inspired to study the yogic arts from the Far East. Many pioneers saw magic as a gateway to investigating the mystical roots of physics and consciousness. Tesla and Reich studied subtle energy forces overlooked by mechanistic science. Artists and psychologists examined magic's role in unleashing creativity or the unconscious. Magic inspired ways to cultivate human potential. If you knew these cultures had advanced spiritual knowledge all along, then comment below to explain your findings. Today, practices from Wicca to Chaos Magic to New Age Rites validate that magic continues to evolve. Contemporary approaches integrate digital media, postmodern philosophy, and emphasis on solo practice. While ancient systems had temples, many now follow what guides their own inner purpose. Currents like manifesting visualize desires to mobilize intention's power, while others use spells to sanctify daily life. Some rework past techniques as personal growth tools aimed at empowerment. While methods keep transforming, the ageless principles endure. Magic teaches that our reality mirrors our inner states. By directing attention mindfully, we can reshape our destiny and environment positively. But without wisdom, desire for only wealth and status breeds karmic disorder. The ego's wants often affront the universal harmony. Power without compassion harms others and the self through backlash. Approached recklessly, magic magnifies capacity without tempering motivation, a combustible mixture. But grounded in ethics and moderation, magic kindles human excellence. Responsible paths exist for exploring magic's truth without selfish aims. One may adopt daily practices for focus, gratitude, and selfless service. In magic's mirror, we see that all life is interconnected. Another path is studying magical theory to grasp its risks before considering deeper engagement. Or one can support qualified adepts through community service. When integrated with care, magic reveals humanity's untapped gifts but forcing results for egotistic ends, courts metaphysical peril or seduction by forces beyond one's competence. A middle way of humility and openness unlocks magic's doorway to life's mysteries and consciousness itself. The tendency to fear what we don't understand caused mainstream religion and society to demonize magic as the province of evil. Yet, magic's methods are based on ancient sciences of consciousness and nature's living patterns. If comprehended, magic provides a doorway to humanity's hidden potential. But irresponsible uses lead to karmic disorder. To reach its heights, magic must be grounded in ethics and the broader good of all. With holistic vision, magic unveils mysteries of consciousness and our place in the cosmos. No longer primitive superstition, magic appears as an advanced self-technology using ritual to harness latent human abilities and unseen forces for spiritual growth or healing. 
magic has always been a way for humanity to touch forces greater than itself, whether the gods, divine will, or our boundless quantum imagination. To responsibly rediscover this sacred science is to reconnect with our wholeness beyond the ego. Magic offers a multi-dimensional mirror to better know ourselves and existence itself. Misapprehending magic as base superstition has denied humanity a deeper knowledge of consciousness and nature's powers. Approached with care and wisdom, magic provides technologies to develop human potential. Its ritual methods remind us that inner evolution requires focus, mindfulness and service. At its heart, magic reveals that matter, energy and awareness interweave too subtly for the rational intellect alone to decode. Magic speaks to realities intellectually intangible but experientially tangible under the right conditions. Materialism rejects this depth but open and disciplined inquiry unveils truths equally rigorous and profound. In magic, Humanity finds a path to fulfill latent talents by harmonizing the mind and universe. The mind shapes existence, but existence also awakens the mind. This interplay of awakening reveals magic's transcendent capabilities once grasped. No longer opposed to reason, magic unifies spiritual wonder and scientific knowledge. Our destinies await further illumination from reintegrating this estranged aspect of the human story. Magic's forgotten knowledge contains missing keys that can unlock doors to our next evolution. To responsibly resurrect magic's capabilities is to reconnect through ritual with cosmic consciousness itself.